finally, after two weeks, my landlord sent the repair guy to help fix our hot water. And finally, after two weeks of cold water, thank goodness we have warm water to use in the shower because you don't know. We definitely um, sometimes take it for granted and we forget that cold, hot, warm water is a luxury. Oh my gosh. Because really like, in some awesome. countries, they don't have hot water. So Liberia, like they, thank whatever. goodness. Whenever I went to Liberia, we didn't have hot water. We had to um, actually, yeah, it, it was just cold water that was coming out. And like then we had to get buckets of hot water at night because it would get cold. That's we crazy. We had to like put it over ourselves. Yeah, that's crazy. Just to take a shower. So I feel like I didn't take as good showers as I do here because I just wasn't very comfortable in the shower. Right, right. So I think I'm putting just a tiny bit of- We're having pancakes from the toaster. How unique is that? Have I you guys know, ever right? had pancakes from a toaster? It's because we got these pre-made ones, but because they are home-style, gluten-free, healthy choicer pancakes. Choicer. <laughs> Dairy-free. So, I don't know. It's just at least a slight better choice than regular pancakes, I suppose. Exactly. And today, we're gonna have a try. We're gonna try to have an amazing day. We're both just energized free, and free energ energized and we, we're off to a good start with our uh, shower fix. <laughs> exactly. You know, that's like a great start to the day. So it is so beautiful out, these. it's a little bit windy, and it's all good. Yeah. These are um, gluten-free pancakes with honey nuts, with um, cashew honey nuts, and with like sesame seeds. Just gotta put that, do you want any banana on there? Uh, no. Okay. I just want one pretty simple. Okay, cool, this is yours. Okay. There are your gluten-free pancakes. Yeah. Tiny, tiny little bit of butter. Yeah. Because um, we, we have no syrup, so. Looks so good. Time to enjoy this. Woo, I just finished shooting reaction video. I shot it twice because <laughs> the first time I shot it, it was 40 minutes of, of recording, but I did not get any sound. So I had to re-record the whole entire thing, but I'm glad I did it again because I just had to do it, you know, kind of get some work done. Anyways, Tima is just chilling here. She's been so patient right now. Like she's just been waiting to go outside and just get outside, just go out of the house and enjoy uh, the yes. weather. I kind of want to like cut <laughs> my hair soon and just get a new like full laced wig that's like human hair. Yeah. So I'm ready to chop my hair off. Um, Cause I like the blonde synthetic one that I got, but I shouldn't have gotten the black one. It's just not that great. Oh, so you should have got like another black one that was better. That was human hair. Oh, if I'm right, right, get right. Black, it might as well be human hair because the, right. the synthetic ones are just so cheap looking. Right. So I think I want to get one. So what's up with the Kardashians? <laughs> oh yeah, I was looking at. There's the, drama at the between last Kim night. Kardashian and Chloe Mortez or something, and they're just like going back and forth on Twitter. It's pretty interesting. Some people thought Kanye or Chloe hacked your Twitter, but they didn't. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to figure out something to do right now. I'm just wrapping up my uh, set right now, and we're about to go out. Hey guys, we are going to go to Little Tokyo, and we're shooting a vlog-style video for her channel. So check that out on Tima's channel. If you guys follow Tima's, Tima Loves Lemons, you can find a video up there soon. Um, she's doing her makey right now, and I am not even ready. I'm looking like a bum. But I don't know, I don't care because it's just a relaxing day. So we're gonna go chill out and relax and enjoy little Tokyo. Wear your white shirt that you got. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. No, it's a sweater, right? Yeah. It's too hot, I'm not, I'm not, I don't wanna wear a sweater. Okay, I like that, I've never seen it on you before. Yeah, I did, I wore it for the uh, Kaneki Ken video, right? Yeah, but I mean, I've never seen you wear it out for like style reasons. Yeah. She always trying to make me some cute doll. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to be myself, you know. It's a good style, but she... No, I mean, we, you guys, like, we never go out, so... Yeah. I've been dressing like a bum every single day, actually. It's been fun. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like to dress up all the time. I really don't, because... Yeah, because it's... Because it's, for every video, you have to dress up, so it's like... Yeah, so... Now, you don't wanna, now it's like, like, like you don't want to dress up. Yeah, it takes up, like, so much energy. Yeah, but, you know, it's all good. We're out here. Enjoying ourselves. So, I actually probably should submit myself on LA Casting because LA Casting is a submission website where actors or entertainers, comedians go to um, submit their picture and their profile and their resume about their things they did in the entertainment industry 
and possibly try to get an audition with whoever they submit with. So there's a bunch of listings like Craigslist and you send your, you send your photo and your resume and basically they say they will request you if they want you to come for their audition and then you go audition for them and hopefully you can book it and make some money and have fun and be on TV maybe or something. You should totally do it again because you've yeah. done it before, right? Yeah. So yeah. You guys, it's all good. Dang, I'm in her shot. Dang. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it rained yesterday, and now, as a result, it's super nice out. Apparently, don't look bummy in your vlog. You don't look bummy. <laughs> you guys get to see the behind the scenes of Timo on my vlogs. <laughs> So it's just like on the upper level somewhere, right? Or yes. Yeah. Okay. Everything else is pretty much. Thank you. Thank you. We are here. We arrived. Yay! Yay! We're just planning out our shoot right now and figuring out where we want to shoot, what basically. What we, we want to talk about and stuff and everything. Can I hold my, uh, my uh, bag for yeah. a second? Yeah. Sure. Just put it here. So if you guys like ramen. Little Tokyo is definitely the place to come. There's so many different ramen places here. Like that place over there, the yellow sign over there, Daikui, Daikuya, that place is the bomb. But it just takes like, sometimes it's like a 45 minute wait just to get some ramen in there. It's like literally a long wait because it's so popular. We're just in the middle of Little Tokyo. We're trying to figure out a location to start a shoot. So, yeah. let's go. So I forgot my little windscreen thing for the camera and it's kind of windy out today so that's why I made us walk all the way back to the car. Yeah, to get it. <laughs> Which Tima is never like really pleased with. But that's okay. We I think it's gonna be worth it. Yeah. Because it's windy out and we don't want we want kinda we want we want, we want to try to have good audio. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I mean that's the point of this video, so that's why I really do want to get it. ramen right now. It's my second time having it, I think. And the first time I didn't really like it, but Tima loved it, actually. What did you get last time? Because you didn't get the miso with you. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I don't know what I got, but we're getting ramen, and we just had a very, um, it was a pretty good shoot. Um, there were some particular things that could have been better in our planning, but, you know, next time we're going to do better, you know? Exactly. We don't so, really do um, any of these types of shoots. So. Yeah. But um, I'm glad that you got to go inside Pop Killer because he asked and like I've seen people like film in there before. Right. Um, but it's it's more of a gray area thing in LA. A lot of areas will say no if you ask them because technically, probably it's not. You can't film there by technicality, by rules, you know. Because you need you have a camera like that. Because you need legal rights and stuff. Yeah. But. They're just saying no because they want to follow the rules, but in tech, in actuality, the person probably doesn't care because they're just an employee there and they don't actually honestly care. So, a lot of times, you have to feel your way out. Sometimes you may want to ask people if you can. It's probably better to, in general, but at the same time, if you can kind of like sneak some shots in in some areas and stuff, that can work out too. You guys know how I was talking about LA casting earlier and how you can submit yourself for auditioning and stuff? So I got an audition, isn't that cool? Unfortunately, something happened and it's on the weekend and I'm going to be working so I'm not going to be able to go to the, the audition. Anyways, it was a student film so it's all good and there was going to be no pay anyways so whatever. I'll just go to, I'll just keep submitting myself and trying to get more auditions. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we finished Mr. Ramen and it was really good actually. It, it, was, it was healthier tasty. tasting. It's not better than Tatsu, it's not better yeah. than Daikuyo. Like They're both like really good like but um... Yeah. yeah, but now we're done and now we're gonna go film the rest. Ah! FedEx truck. It destroys all the sound. Now we're gonna go film the rest of her video, her vlog for her channel on Tima Loves Lemons, and yeah. Alright guys, we are in Tima's favorite makeup store. Yeah. Maniki Neko. Right? I just haven't gotten stuff in the past couple of days. Yeah! So basically at this store, it's pretty much like a makeup store and they have like a lot of affordable priced stuff and unique type of items. For example, 
There's this thing called chalk. I don't know what this is. And there's this lip balm with all different colors and oh flavors. Oh we have Paris Escape. <laughs> A bunch of stuff. All this colorful stuff. Tima absolutely loves it. You guys, what does that mean? One dollar sushi anniversary? One dollar sushi? What does that mean? Hmm. Maybe, maybe it's dollar per plate. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. Yeah, that's really good. It's up there, I guess. And uh, we're going to check out this place called Jungle. It's like a cosplay kind of store, so we're going to see how it looks. So it should be pretty interesting, actually. So that store is pretty cool. It has a lot of like cosplay kind of stuff like that. And I don't think they really want you to film in there, so that's why we didn't really film much. But, yeah. you know, it's, it's a really fun store if you guys are looking for cosplay and stuff like that. Alright, actually there's one last spot that we're going to go to in Little Tokyo. And it is the Japanese bookstore, right? Is that right? Yeah. Japanese bookstore? Yeah. Yeah, and it's across the street. So, it's actually really cool because they have a lot of books actually. And they're all in Japanese. And they, I, I don't know, do they have manga? Yeah, they have a ton. I think they have manga too, yeah. So, that would be fun. Let's go across the street actually because it's uh, 18, 16. So what do you think about that? Someone's hurt. <laughs> I know. So, well that was a fun experience at the uh, bookstore. We just went to the bookstore over there. And um... I want to get stuff from there. It's called Kino Kunya. Kino Kunya. And basically it's, it's a Japanese bookstore and we had a lot of fun in there. And if you guys want to see more about it, check out her vlog because it has more footage on her vlog with, of the bookstore, so you definitely can check that out when you go to Team Love's Lemons on YouTube. Yeah. So now we're going to go to Daiso, actually. The last stop, her, one of her favorite stores because they have so much cheap stuff there. You can get so much in like one go. It's like, we got like 20 bucks, your bag will be filled with stuff. So, I like it. Alright, so we got distracted yet again. And we're going to get ice cream, and it's okay, we're just treating ourselves, but we're gonna work out tonight, and, yeah. and you know, we're just having fun, so. I got salted um, caramel ice cream with pretzel. I got the signature velvet, these are all the cupcake, cream cheese frosting. Yeah, we'll show you guys in a second, because it's gonna look so good. So look at this funny video I'm watching. It's like an animation of a girl farting, but she's farting like diamonds and stuff. That's you. Can you get it? So here is mine. Looking super good and delicious and spiffy. I know I just had ice cream the other day. You did? Yeah. When? With my brother and my sister. Oh. <laughs> but it's okay. It's gonna be delicious, and oh, that's what has, counts. It has a puzzle all inside of it. Yeah. So Tima got blue blue velvet. What is, what is blue velvet? It's kind of like red velvet cupcake. Oh, okay. It is it velvet. is it like blueberry? I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay. It could be. Very cool. It looks delicious. That's the one thing that LA does really well is ice cream. I like literally love all the ice cream places in Los Angeles. And this happens to be one of my favorites because the one I got with pretzels, it's salt, sea salt, um, it's salted pretzel caramel. And I asked them for extra pretzels because I love the pretzel chunks in them. That place was so delicious. Now we're gonna go to Daiso. It's a nice and sunny and chilly day, so. I'm gonna put on this cute sweater that I wanna steal. Cute sweater. I wanna, I'm gonna steal it. I'm gonna steal it. I'm gonna steal it. But it's my sweater. But I like that sweater a lot. It's my sweater. But I like it. Too. I'm gonna put property of Kevin. So then when you wear it, people will know that and you're my property. That's not a good word to use to black people. Right. Property. <laughs> Probably not the best thing to use. Alright, oops guys, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> at least I got at least I caught that. Yeah. But I didn't mean it that way. I, know. I just meant in a boyfriend-girlfriend way, but girlfriends are not popular anyways. Property. Property. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, property. Property, yeah. is that right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I got the word wrong a few times. <laughs> That's a funny sequence, guys. I forgot they have food here, too. 
I'm so full right now. Though. All right, so you have to get a parking ticket here. Give me a parking ticket. Thank you. See, I got one. What now it's time to park. There and like the person's like, where's the car? All right, we're gonna park here. It's confusing about where to park in LA sometimes because there's signs and they're specific and you just have to use good judgment and read the signs like a thousand times to make sure that you don't get a parking ticket and be extra paranoid about it. And that's what makes you just crazy in LA. Paranoia and traffic and people and craziness. So Daiso is like an affordable Japanese Japanese uh, item place. They have different kind of Japanese products and stuff and it's just cheaper. It tends to be around like two dollars or three dollars or a dollar. It's like a dollar fifty. Yeah, dollar fifty. Oh, look, they have this little thing here. Called... But do they have Daiso in Japan actually? Yes, they do. They do. So it's actually a Japanese store actually. And they have crispy hot pancake. What does that mean? What is a crispy hot pancake? I don't even know. I okay. No, we're not having any more desserts right now. No. <laughs> I'm like full of desserts yeah, and food. So now we're gonna go in Daiso. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Oh, so you're actually I've... getting stuff? Um, yeah, what else do I have? Okay, we're inside Daiso. It's pretty cool. I am going to get this business card case. And I think it's a dollar fifty. Because I just need something to hold a bunch of my business cards that I collect in LA. It's not really focusing on it. Here we go. So that's what I'm gonna get. And also, I think I want. I think I also want a something else. I just saw it a second ago. Oh, envelopes. I'm gonna get envelopes because I need some envelopes. And I believe everything's $1.50? Yeah, because it says that. See? Watch, I'll show you. Everything $1.50 unless priced as marked. So unless it says something else, it's $1.50. So this is three bucks, that's pretty good. Check out these small cute erasers. There's like a strawberry fruit one. This is like ramen packages, I think. Little sushi thingies. Look how many there are. There is just a lot, see? And they're all erasers. <laughs> There's just so many different kinds. <laughs> I can't find what did you decide to get? Well, I got um, uh -huh. some hairpins. Yeah, show I us. I got a couple of, um, of these, a couple of lip liners. Yeah. Eyeliner, whatever you call it. And a couple of eyelashes just to take with me on the trip. Cool. Hey Sally Mae, how are you? What are you doing? Okay. Never mind. That didn't work Sally out. Mae. That didn't work out too well guys. What kind of name is that? <laughs> I was trying to prank her but it didn't work out too well. No it didn't. She's Absolutely like what are you not. doing? So I'm gonna walk you guys through the Japanese snack section, which is totally amazing, which I would totally love to eat if I could eat all the junk food I wanted in the world. But let's check it out. So we have like dried fish, and um, there's choco corn. So it must be like corn chips or something with chocolate flavored corn snack so as you can see there's a lot of popular corn snacks shrimp chips I totally love shrimp chips they're really delicious and what do we have here dry squid real dry squid I do like that sometimes there's sriracha peas also wasabi peas cookies I don't know what kind of cookies they are rice crackers with soybeans I do like rice crackers well, I like these little things and they're rice cracker like snaps those are really delicious and then there's like miso soups. Oh, there's a lot of miso soups. I gotta tell Tima about this. She's gonna love this. Tima's gonna love this right here. And there seems to be some kind of, um, uh, what do you call it? Fish in a can. I don't know what it's called again. Um, sardines. I think this must be sardines. And there's curry, udon noodles. Tima, I'm gonna tell her about the miso. She's gonna like that a lot. There's green teas. There's all these different kind of green teas here. Timo like, might like that too, but these are the what's really good. The Hello Pandas are so delicious. They're like cookies, and you break them open, and, and there's chocolate filling on the inside. It's so good. They have a strawberry flavor one, milk flavor. The koala ones are good too. 
I love the koala ones. And there's all this like green tea flavored kind of snacks. So as you can see, there's tons of snacks and yan yans right behind me as you can see. I love yan yans. A lot of good stuff, a lot of good stuff at Daiso. And they're just about, I think, $1.50 each or so. Or maybe a dollar on some of them too. So, yeah, yeah. Hey, I was about to talk to this little girl, and I thought it was you. <laughs> so I think it kind of like, it is funny. <laughs> no, no. Why would you say that? <laughs> I'm just joking. Hey, but look, I have to show you something after this. You have to come here. Okay. Artificial? What? Come on, you're better than that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just gotta make her feel bad. <laughs> What's tube tweezer? Oh, it's to, to hold down your toothpaste. That's really cool. It squeezes up your toothpaste so you can use and get the most out of your toothpaste tube. Yeah, there's such a lot of, there's like a lot of you guys, there's like a lot of little, like, neat little knickknacks that Japanese, that are Japanese made and they're just really cool and, I don't know, like, we just don't have some of these products in the United States, really. Like, I mean, American made, basically. So I had to come back to the car because I couldn't, I didn't know where I put my parking ticket for the parking uh, structure here and I couldn't find it for a while and I was kind of afraid, like, oh no! I'm gonna have to pay for extra for parking, but thank goodness I found it. It was under my seat, my little parking ticket, so I can get this validated and hopefully get free parking here. So yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like, you don't really... I mean, I don't know why I've started doing that. Like I always used to say "fuh" too. <laughs> Anyways, we got done with Daiso, and now we're probably gonna head home. Actually, I think. Yeah. We're just checking out this inner mall area, and it seems our uh, seems kind of old. <laughs> Anyways, um, you want to go upstairs or just go home? You want to check out? I was going to check out see if they had a bag here. Sure, sure, way. sure. We can go like, upstairs. Maybe. Possibly. For sure, let's go upstairs. Yeah. It's a, you know what it has been a weird habit that I've been picking up lately is just saying pho, which is pho. I don't know why I say pho. I don't mean to say pho. And I've always said pho before, but somehow I picked up this, a weird habit of saying pho, but I've always said pho. I'm not stupid, I know. <laughs> so basically, like, we just went up there. There's not really much up there. This mall's kind of, like, run down a little bit and kind of older looking. And some shops are closed up. Like, look over here. It's, like, closed up. And it's just not really up to date. It's not really kept up. So now we're just going to go back home. Yeah. It's time. Look at those cute doggies. Cute dogs. Did you see those cute dogs in his backpack? That was so amazing. <laughs> oh, and there's a grocery store here, too. Um, should we go in to see what they have? Maybe. Can you put these in your your thing? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I'll hold this. Okay. Yeah. You guys, check this out. This miso soup. This miso, it's a miso flavoring, but it's kind of funny. It says, Miso and easy, but it almost looks like it says miso easy, so that's kind of like a play on words and kind of funny. Yeah, it's probably so much cheaper than the ones at the uh, Anime Expo, you know? Yeah. Which is like a, such a high price. It is. Oh, look at the ones that are in there. You mean the one that they have at Famima? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. Look, so this is a really cool grocery store because it has food inside for sale. Like, oh my God, there's like restaurants in here. I knew I was smelling something. I smell something so good. Like, yeah, there's like really cool restaurants. Totally awesome. People and just their families are having dinner and it's really cool. Inside a grocery store, so that's totally amazing. I'm always loving Asian bakeries. Asian bakeries have the bombest bread in the world, like sweet bread. They have a oh my gosh. Canned silkworm. Canned silkworm, what the heck? Let me see, hold on, let me focus on it. Hey, it's got zero calories for that. Let me see this. Let me check this out here. Silkworm, sugar, salt, MSG, onion, ginger, and water. You guys, canned silkworm with, it has MSG? Yeah. <laughs> Can't soak one with MSG. Like, 
Canned silkworm. Would you guys try that? Hmm, I don't know about that. So, they have bags here. Apparently, Tima spotted. Do you want... It doesn't look like it. They have a couple over there. Where? Like, there's a red one back there. And there's like a, a, a darker, like, maroon one right there in the middle. Is it a I maybe it's a purse, actually. I think it's a purse. Yeah. Yo, that was so much fun. This was an interesting place. And this is just a part of Little Tokyo, too, in the Little Tokyo area. So it's definitely a fun place to come and to enjoy. They also have an arts district nearby. We're not going to go to that tonight, but they have a lot of cool, like, restaurants and artsy kind of walls and patent stuff like that. So it's really cool. How did you How did you enjoy your experience in Little Tokyo? It was really good. I liked it today. I thought I had a really fun time. Nice. I really wanted to get a bag today because my bag, I keep leaving it open all the time. Yeah. But I can't find one. Yeah. So the best place to go to is like TJ Maxx or like one of those cheaper places for a bag. Right. Uh, because I got my ticket validated, my parking ticket, I got free parking which sometimes doesn't happen in Los Angeles because they want to charge you a couple of dollars, two, three, four, five, even ten dollars sometimes. That's so I'm kind of, that's why I'm kind of satisfied that I got free parking, guys. And now we're gonna go home. Alrighty, we are actually avoiding traffic, so we're just gonna drive around some more to just let traffic subside a little bit before we go home so the roads are more clear and so we can go home smoothly in, in a good amount of time. So right now we're in Hollywood and we're actually gonna go maybe to TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Ross or something and just, just how you hang out, look at clothes and just enjoy our day basically, the rest of our night actually. And look, right beside me is, is the KTLA Channel 5 Tower. So that's pretty cool over there. And I'm gonna show you in a little bit, the, we're on the world famous Sunset Boulevard. So I'm going to show you guys what that's all about and just it's kind of like a local street where a lot of people in Hollywood live and it's kind of where they hang out basically. It's just like a hip and popping spot and it's actually where the central location of BuzzFeed is for the motion picture um, department. So a lot of their, um, their blog publications like the written stuff is in New York and their, their filming stuff is most of it's done in LA. Just yeah. so you guys know that, by the way. We're, uh, this is Central Hollywood, so right over here is a Globe Theater. So the movie screen, the actual screen is a, a kind of like a, a U shape. It's like a dome shape. And actually it's funny because this car is waiting for me to move because it wants to turn. And I'm kind of blocking the way, oops. That's okay. And then over there, if you can see in the distance over there, it's... It's um, Amoeba Music, and that's like a, a record and a CD store, and they, they buy and sell some used music CDs, and they have just like a bunch of affordable, like old vinyl collections and stuff, and it's a buy-sell trade place, and it's really cool. They have a huge collection of music, and DVDs, and Blu-rays and stuff. That's where me and Kevin first went, when yeah. I first came to LA. And up yeah. there, if you guys can see, is the CNN building right next to it. That's really awesome. So my battery died a little bit ago, and as I was saying, we're gonna go out now and wait for traffic to um, die down a little bit. So now we're gonna go to Ross, check out the department stores, what they have going on. We'll see if they have any good deals or anything. <laughs> Tima's following me. I'm always interested in getting cologne at these kind of um, stores, like TJ Maxx and Ross and stuff, but you just don't know how they smell, so I don't know what to get, actually. Unless I've previously purchased it before, but I haven't purchased a lot of clothes in my life before. People have gotten this from my Actually, I have this. I have this. Periolis. People have gotten the common But I have so much left. This yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sure any of them are pretty good, actually. Yeah, I feel like a lot of them are. I mean, like, now we're giving TJ Maxx a try. Oh, yeah, it has a sign. A, des a design, right? Yeah. So... We're actually going in all these stores because Team was also looking for a backpack, but we haven't been very successful in finding one. So the last spot we're gonna try is Marshalls. 
And all these stores are located in one little shopping mall plaza area, so it's kind of convenient that they, we have them all together here. We're in Marshalls right now, and Tima's looking for a backpack. And what do you guys think about this backpack right now? It's 25 bucks. It's a good price. One of the better prices we found. Yeah. It's kind of big for her liking, but the style's pretty cool. So she might or might not get that, I but like it's, it so much. she kind of likes the small one though. She likes a smaller kind of backpack. Well, because actually, this might be good because I'll be carrying around like water and stuff. But I feel like I feel like I'm just gonna need like a small bag there. What do you think? Yeah. What? Well, it might be good, but uh, but it's also whatever makes you feel comfortable. I think it's good, but like I think it's good too. Actually, it's really cute. Honestly. Yeah. As long as you feel comfortable with it, um, you can you can put the strap up more a little bit, you know? Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to do it. Tima like, decided on getting this backpack, actually. Yes. It's really nice, and it's 20 bucks about, almost. Mission complete! We got her a new backpack. She bought this backpack, and it's really nice, really lovely. It has, it's fashionable and everything. She's looking for her phone right now. But in a second, she's gonna do a spin around to do a little show of the backpack. Just do it right here in the lighting. Put it on and do a spin around. Check that out, guys. Woo! Isn't that nice? And like, even like the guy at the register was like, oh, this looks nice. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so cheap. It's like, it's, it was 24 bucks. I got it on a discount because I work with the company. So I got it for cheap. And I was like, yay! One last place for fun is Nordstrom Rack. Yeah. And then we are going to go home for sure. Look at this beautiful dress that Tima's checking out. A thousand dollars. A thousand yeah, that's dollars? That's a thousand dollars, guys. But it, it looks, it looks pretty cool it's pretty stylish. It's like something like the Kardashians would wear, right? Yeah, that's awesome. But I'm just having fun trying on these glasses. What do you guys think? Is this kind of weird looking on me? I don't like those. Ray-Bans. My brother has them. It's so much fun just like trying on random stuff. Just dreaming of what you could have in the future, basically. I think it's good to do that. It's like a good exercise for yourself to be, keep yourself motivated and keep yourself um, having fun, basically. All right, now it's time to go home. Yeah. Northern Rack can be expensive, but you can find like really, really cheap you, you can find gems. treasures. They had the Urban You can find Decay. gems, yeah. Yeah, like they literally had the Urban Decay Beauty Bomb for your body. It's really like $50, it was only for $15. Oh my it, gosh. It's like a huge thing. And I'm like, Oh my gosh. So, um, I was gonna get two of the still things, but that's gonna last me a while. Yeah. Okay, robot machine. <laughs> your parking fee is two dollars. Please pay with cash or credit card. Does that sound creepy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you need a receipt, please press the receipt button. No, sorry. There's Ripley's, believe it or not, there, and if you look closely, there's a dinosaur on top. And it's funny because usually it's not there, but they decorated the dinosaur with like a, a mouse nose and mouse ears. I actually think it's bunny. It's bunny, a bunny nose, bunny teeth, and bunny ears because for um, Easter, right? Is, yeah. Is Easter coming up? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what's going on. It looks pretty scary, though. Yeah, it kind of does look scary, like a scary Easter bunny. Mm -hmm. We're home. It feels so good to be home, but now it's time to go out to the gym hard. and work out because we're trying to be fit.
another gym session done. Very successful. 250 again. Yeah. Do it again. Uh, yeah. Time to go get some food and stuff, maybe. I'm gonna get some food, but she probably has food at home, I think. I'm gonna make myself a, I'm gonna make myself, first of all, a green smoothie. Okay. And also a spinach omelet. Okay, sounds good to me. Yeah. Oh, my car is over here. I wanted to treat myself to like certain things too, some days yeah. and like. Well, I mean, just enjoying the work, I mean, even. Well, no, like, look, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Like, while you're doing that, you got to first take care of yourself. Definitely. Then you have to like have fun with doing it too. Like that's why I kind of wanted to just like stop filming afterwards. Today. Right, I just right, right. Just enjoy the rest of the day. For sure, for sure. Because I was like, you know what? It's like. For sure. You want to also enjoy yourself too. Right. Woo, what a successful day. We're finally back home. I'm so happy to be back home. I just feel really accomplished today. We did a lot of work. We, we shot a, a few videos. Yeah, Kevin shot and... his first video today twice. <laughs> yeah, by accident because I didn't know I wasn't recording sound, so I had to re-record re it. And Tima to... shot her whole like vlog video, which is going to be really cool and amazing. Hopefully yeah. everything turned out right. Hopefully the sound was good and everything. It's going to be great. So and that Kevin, was awesome. And Kevin's going to have an editing session right now. And we I'm... did we did two, um, I mean we did. We worked out today. So yeah. and we're back home and I think it's about right now. We've been out and working all day since 9. So basically for like literally 12 hours we've been just like doing stuff. Yeah. And enjoying ourselves too because we had fun in little Tokyo just hanging out and stuff. Productive day. Yeah, productive day for yeah, sure. For sure. Like, and I, I, it feels good to also eat what we want, but also work hard at the end of the day. And it just, it's amazing. Good job. But now Success. I gotta be healthy again for like a late night dinner. Yeah. So. Okay, everybody. Tima's already asleep here. I'm up and I'm finishing uploading my reacting, my reaction video. It's almost gonna be up in about five minutes or so. That's good. And it's just been a really good day, and I really am thankful for that. And the one big thing for me is consistency. Like, one day I'll feel good, another day I'll feel weird again. So, let's see how I'll feel tomorrow. Like, today was really awesome, and it felt really good. So, and, um, yeah, basically, we're, we'll, we'll see what happens tomorrow, and let's continue... Keeping up the good work, and yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.